you and George uh, wrap up your shift at your bar and decide to go out for a late night drink? Well, we um, we had worked almost two weeks consecutively because Fourth of July fell in the middle of the week that week or that that year, and um, we had worked for almost two weeks straight. So Sunday we came into work and we had very little, um, if any, um, reservations on the books. So our boss, George, uh, gave us the night off. And so we went to Montauk for a little bit and then we came to Sag Harbor and that's when I encountered Don Lemon. Okay. And those are towns in the Hamptons that are very popular with folks. So you walk into this bar called Murph's, which I understand is very popular and sometimes with the celebrity set, though it's described as kind of a dive bar. Like it's it's not a fancy place. It's just popular amongst Correct. people who are well known. And did you see him right away when you walked in? So I walked in and I saw him right out of the corner of my eye and sitting in the, over to the right. And he was with a, a group of other, a couple other men. And uh, I said to George, I said, look, that's Don Lemon right there. And uh, I decided to approach him and I said, hey, Don, let me buy you a drink. And before he could even respond, I looked at the bartender and I said, let me get two lemon drops. And if anything, that was an attempt at humor. Um, And I didn't mean anything derogatory or, you know, I wasn't trying to uh, harass him or, you know, um, and. Don looks at me and says, I'm just trying to have a good time. And at that time, I said, "Okay, I'm sorry. And I walked away and I thought that was the end of it. Okay. And so what why did you do that? Had you been a fan of his? Like what made you offer to buy him a drink? Honestly, I was just being cordial. Um, I, you know, I work as a bartender and part of your job is to engage with your guests and, you know, um, just have a good time. Everybody, when, typically when they're at a, a bar or a restaurant, they're uh, trying to just enjoy themselves. And I was just being friendly. It was just a hello. And I didn't mean anything derogatory towards it. But as soon as he said, I'm just trying to have a good time, I walked away. And that was the, what, that. Was that. What time of night was this? Uh, approximately about maybe 10 p.m., maybe 9.30 Okay. And could you tell at this point, at this particular point where you would offer to buy him a lemon drop, um, whether he was intoxicated? I mean, it seemed that he had had a few drinks, that's for sure. How, how could you tell? He just was kind of like shaking his head and he was like, he looked at me like, I just, you know, you're a bartender. You can, you pick up on these things. <laughs> People sit at your bar and drink all the time, you know, and mm-hmm. uh, he did not look sober by any means. Okay. So he declined your drink. And then, and how far away were the two of you from one another at this point? Three feet at the most. And, and I'll ask you this because it becomes relevant shortly, but um, for the record, are, are you straight? Oh, uh, yes. I have a girlfriend and, um, you know, once this is all behind me, we hope to get married one of these days. Okay. So in no way was this a sexual come on by you offering a drink? All. Okay. And Don is openly gay and, and either engaged or married uh, to a man. So, uh, and that's been well established. Okay. So it was basically just a friendly gesture. He declined it. And then what happened next? So I walk around the bar um, and about five minutes goes by and he walks, uh, he comes around the bar and comes up to me and he says, um, pardon my language, but he says, do you like me? Is that why you're fucking with me? And I said, no, uh, I just wanted to say what's up. And I was just like, what's this guy's problem? And um, I looked at my boss and in that moment, I, he puts his hand down his pants and starts Who's he, aggressively. He, do, can you start that uh, over? Don, you're talking about Don, go ahead. Yeah, so after he says, "Are you? do you like me? Is that why you're effing with me? And I said, no, I just wanted to say what's up, man. And I look at my boss and I look back and he has his hand in his pants, rubbing himself aggressively. And he shoves his two fingers up underneath my mustache, thrusts my head back and says, do you like pussy or dick? And he said it like two or three times after that. And I just said, what the hell, man? And I just ran out the back door. So forgive my indelicate question, but when you say he put his hands down his his pants, what kind of pants was he wearing and how do you know what he was doing in there? He was wearing shorts and I mean, it was pretty obvious to everybody that saw him, what he did, that he was just rubbing himself and 
uh, you know, with impunity, just pushed his hands up under my face enough to thrust my head back and uh, degrade me. So he was rubbing his genitals and then he shoved the fingers that he was doing it with in your nose, in your face. Correct. Um, did it strike you as something he had ever done before? I don't know. Anybody that acts like that in public and without any fear of, of what it might do to somebody or the consequences it might have, I, it, that's a, a pattern, you know, it's, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he's protected by, by the fact that he's African-American, uh, gay man on television, and uh, I'm just some nobody. Mm. When he touched your face, did, did he actually make contact with your face? Yeah, he pushed my face back completely. Wow. And so did you did you stumble back or did you maintain your footing? I At this point, I had turned around and my back was to the bar and he pushed me so forcefully that I was leaning up over the bar. And, uh, you know, after about two seconds of that and him, him repeating, you know, what he said. P, um, P or D, just, P or D. Yeah. yeah. And after all that, I just like, what the hell? And I just ran out the back door and, you know, in certain circumstances, you know, a lot of men would have reacted aggressively and that, you know, in that split second, I had to make a decision. And, you know, when you go through something like that, it's either fight or flight. And I chose flight. <laughs> <laughs> 